Hey everyone, in this video we're going to use the Blender plugin Auto Rig Pro to rig and retarget a character using Rococo motion capture. One caveat is you'll need your model to be in a T-pose for this workflow to work. Let's get into it. So for this video, I'm going to be using a basic model that I found on Mixamo. I downloaded it and removed the rig, so all we have is the character mesh with no skeleton. If I jump into Blender, and then I go to File, Import FBX, and then bring in my model, you can see here that I don't have a rig on this model. So we're going to do the rigging using Auto Rig Pro as well. To get that started, we'll open up the Auto Rig Pro menu, and then I'll go to the Smart menu. If we select our model and then hit Get Selected Objects, we can rig this character really easily in the classic kind of Mixamo style. There's tons of tutorials online for this process of rigging, but you basically just position your circles over the major joints. When I'm done, I'll hit go, and this will generate our skeleton. Next, I'll hit match to rig, and Auto Rig Pro will add its standard animation rig to our skeleton. However, if we move this rig around, nothing will happen, because we still need to bind this rig and skeleton to our mesh. To do this, we'll make sure we're in object mode, we'll select everything, and then go to the skin tab. I usually use the voxelized setting, and then I'll just hit bind. Now you can see if we move our rig around, our character will move along with it. Okay, so we've got our character all rigged up with Auto Rig Pro, and now let's bring in some Rococo mocap to retarget to it. If we jump into Rococo Studio, I'm going to export out one of the free sample animations that comes with Rococo Studio. You can download Studio right now and it will have all these sample animations which you can use for any project in any capacity. To export this animation out, I will right click on it, select export, and then I'm going to make sure I'm exporting an FBX that is binary, it needs to be binary for Blender, at 30 FPS with a Maya Human IK skeleton which is what I always recommend using. After I'm finished exporting, I'll jump back into Blender and I'll go to Import, FBX, and then I'll go and find my Rococo animation. Whenever I'm importing mocap data or rigged characters into Blender, always make sure to check automatic bone orientation. So now that we have our mocap in, if we hit play, you can see that everything is playing and our mocap is working. And in order to retarget this mocap to our character, we're going to go to the remap section of Auto Rig Pro. In object mode, I will select my mocap and then I'll hit the dropper to add it into the source field. And then I'll select my character's rig and I'll hit the dropper to drop it into the target field. I usually hit auto scale just to make sure that the rigs are similar in size. And then I'll hit build bone list. So this is the part where a lot of people get tripped up, I think, and where you can start to get some funky results from Auto Rig Pro. It's a little quirk of the system that if you don't remember, uh, it can be super frustrating. So we need to go find the right foot. And we need to change this from C foot FK, which is forward kinematics, to C foot IK, which is inverse kinematics. We also need to check this IK box. Basically, this will allow our mocap to drive the feet of our character. Next, I just need to go up to the hip bone and make sure it's set as root. And finally, if your character isn't in a T pose, you'll need to repose it so that it matches the pose of our mocap. The Rococo mocap always starts in a T pose at frame one, and your character and your mocap need to be in as close as possible the same pose, so all the bones in the same position, both in a T pose, before you retarget to get good results. Now I can hit retarget, select the length of the animation, and there we go. Everything is retargeted and this is looking really good. So we hope this video was helpful. We know that there are a lot of quirks with this workflow, especially if you are using a character whose rest pose is not in a T pose, as I mentioned. If you run into trouble, put your questions in the comments below and we'll do our best to sort out any issues. 
Thanks so much everyone and make sure to check back soon. We're gonna have more Auto Rig Pro content and more Blender content in general coming soon. Thanks.